I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to this, but let me just stop here for a minute because a lot of us want the promises of God before the fullness of time. So we're in the upper room like these, frustrated that it didn't happen yet, but we don't understand that due season is, is on God's time. Uh, I, I, you, in due season you'll reap if you faint not. We don't know what that timeline is, but we have to trust the one who does know. I learned to do that. Things that I don't know, I trust the one who does. Are y'all hearing me? And the one who does loves me. He's my father. He's not just God and judge and king. He's my father. I am of his same DNA. Anybody got the blood of Jesus in your veins? That don't sound like anybody got the blood of Jesus in your veins. So there are things that are going to happen in your life. There are promises that are over your life. But it has to happen after the fullness of time. And God tests us to see if we can endure. Endure. He that endures to the end shall be saved. So you reap the promise sometimes when you just endure. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? Sometimes all you need to do to reap the prize is endure. Look at your neighbor and say, just make it. Now as simple as it sounds, it is hard sometimes. Because it takes a fight to make it. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? You got to fight. Uh, you gotta fight thoughts, you gotta fight them demons whispering in your ear, see if it ain't happened by now, maybe it ain't gonna happen. Because the very thing you're waiting on, it seems like it happens all around you. Yeah. Ain't that crazy? The thing that you're waiting on, it seems like it happens with your neighbor, your cousin, somebody you heard about, you swiping. The very same thing you're waiting on, you see breakthrough for somebody else. And I heard somebody say, if God blesses your neighbor, that means he's in the neighborhood. <laughs> I don't do cliches too much, but I like that one a little bit. If God is blessing my neighbor, that means he in the hood. I just might be next. I said I just might be next. I'm so crazy, I go and celebrate the ones that's happening for. When my man, Pastor Travis Green, got his new building, I got on a flight and I said, look what the, look what the Lord hear what I'm saying. Look what the Lord has done. I'm crazy enough to celebrate somebody who already has what I'm waiting on. That's why y'all should have screamed for these graduates. Because you're waiting on an elevation too. I'm going to give y'all one more chance. Let's celebrate these graduates. If you're waiting on the elevation, give God praise for who's already elevated. Yeah, stay up there for me, Joe. I know you're just as tired as me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Everybody has different processes. Everybody got a different process. You can have the same promise, but a different process. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We can all be promised a car, but the process could be different. Depending on your heart, depending on circumstances, depending on your temperament, depending on your attitude. So when it was fully come, they were all, oh God, with one accord and in one place. There's a power that comes with all being on one accord uh -huh, and all being in one place. This is why I'm really believing God for us to get in this building. Because <laughs> there's something that happens when we're all on one accord and in one place. Place. You can praise them at your house, and you should. But when you praise them in this house, there's another power that comes when we're all in one accord and in one place. But notice the, the priority there. Notice the priority. The priority is not one place. Being in one place is not first. Being on one accord is first. Having the same mind, the same intent, the same motive is where the power is. Because you can be in the same place, divided. Yes, some of your homes, I'm sorry, some people's homes, not yours. Some people's homes, you're under the same roof. But it's divided against itself. So the power is being on one accord. Actually, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> I hope you are. Because I'm thinking right about now, I will bless the Lord. 
Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now you see who's thinking what you're thinking. When we're all on one accord and have the same intent and the same mo motives, we experience something supernatural, but it takes you laying down your personal agenda. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? 